All right. Welcome, everyone, to our closing ceremony. You're finally here. The weekend is over. You have built your sites. We are so, so, so proud of everything that you have done this weekend, serving so many nonprofits around the country. We know it's been a long weekend and you're probably tired. We're so glad that you're here. We're going to wrap it up. We'll be out of here soon. We're going to celebrate what you've done. So we'll have just a, a brief intro from me. You'll hear from our program director, Erica, and some words from some of our event project managers. We have photos of the weekend, and then we have, of course, our judges will be, one of our judges will be presenting the sites who have won our contest. Just a friendly competition, but we love to see uh, who our judges thought did a really great job with their builds. And then we'll have you out of here so you can get some rest. We want, to, we want to give a huge shout out to all of our sponsors. We could not be here without them. We have a ton of people backing us, supporting us in a variety of ways. We really, really appreciate everything that they do for us so that we can be here with you guys. For this event, it's we built 39 sites. I know there was a lot going on. We had some nonprofits drop. We had some volunteers drop. We're going to get a few more sites finished in the next two weeks, so look forward to those. But there are 39 who are done today. You should be very, very, very proud of yourselves for finishing this up in the past 48 hours. We are certainly so excited for you. And more importantly, those 39 nonprofits are just thrilled to be receiving what they are. Um, it's almost a million dollars in give back. We're saving a lot of money for these nonprofits. We have a ton of volunteers joining us from all around the country, all around the world. And we had a bunch of people supporting us on site as well. So this is our third annual social justice build event and we're very proud. We also are very excited about the speakers that we are able to bring to you guys this event. We had some amazing presenters at, for our impact labs, giving some fundamental skills to our nonprofits relevant to their builds and relevant to the websites they're receiving. Milton Little gave us an incredible video for his keynote speech. We had our DEI panelists, Bhavna, David, and Joanne join us to share some amazing thoughts on the importance of amplifying diversity, equity, inclusion, and justice in the workspace, at home, and continuing to do the work that you guys are supporting this weekend everywhere that you go. And we had Tanya Kelly joining us again to host a nonprofit roundtable, which was also fantastic. So thank you to everyone who joined us. I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to Erica. Y'all probably know her at this point. She's been helping lead all of you through the fire all weekend. She's going to speak to some of our event leads for this weekend. Thank you so much, Erica. All right, so hi, thank you. I uh, just wanted to say just a phenomenal job, everyone. Um, want to take this time to share and convey uh, the leadership's thanks for all of your efforts this weekend. Uh, we just really, truly appreciate it. And then the next few slides, we're going to go through and just highlight a few uh, uh, thanks. So next slide. So one would be from your event project managers. These are your leaders for the weekend. Uh, you've had an opportunity to get to know them in close and personal as you've relayed messages on Slack and email and in person and offline and online and just all that course. So we just want to give just a big thanks to the project managers. They have really stepped up and have just gone above and beyond, essentially serving as program directors, as coaches, as counselors, um, just, they just run the gamut. So we just want to just really just give a, a huge thanks to the event project managers uh, for leading. So next slide. All right, so just wanted to highlight a few items. Uh, of course, there are so many people to thank, uh, but just wanted to highlight from a few of the uh, event project managers. Uh, I won't go through every single one and all of the remarks, but if you want to, you can highlight and copy or screenshot their thanks uh, going forward or go back or look over the recording. So that's ones from Crystal and then Angel uh, for Creative Talents. Heather um, as well, that's her thanks and heartfelt gratitude to all of her members and project managers. And then the next one, and then from Daniela as well, the uh, program director co-chair, those are her words of uh, thanks and congratulations. And then from myself as well, so you don't wanna hear any more from me, but just thank you so, so, so very much to the teams of one, the teams of two, the dynamic duos, the GOATs, the powerhouses, just, just all over, just absolutely phenomenal. So next slide. 
All right, and then we also want to acknowledge the weekend support. Uh, these were members of the planning committee and then on-site support and networking who actually uh, wore several hats this weekend and the weekends leading up to the event and also probably weekends afterwards as well as we work on some of the sites. So we just want to give just a, a special call out to weekend support from the planning committee and on-site support and networking the faces and the hands and the eyes and the ears behind the scenes. All right, next slide. Uh, and then this one as well, just breaking down even further. Some of you may have actually reached out to the various teams from accessibility, from QA, especially from noon onward <laughs> today, and then the help desk all throughout. So these were the members um, who were there to just kind of answer your direct messages or your messages or tags and Slack or your emails and things of that sort. So we just want to acknowledge them uh, for that coverage. And it's just really um, instrumental to help get everything on board for uh, the weekend. So thank you so much. Next slide. Uh, I'm going to move this over. Or let's see. Well, events, teams, and photos. So this is more so the fun part, we got to see the faces and the, the creativity beyond the websites. We wanted to actually delve into the teams themselves. So I'm very happy to share uh, <laughs> some of the some of the team photos. Okay. <laughs> so one would be just on site Friday. Uh, that was just a, a great event where we had a chance to fellowship. Uh, meet in person, meet uh, several of the nonprofits in person as well, who uh, were based in the Atlanta area or the Southern area. And they came to just kind of meet, have a little bit of barbecue and uh, talk to the members leadership and the build team and all of the volunteers for the event. So we just want to thank uh, everyone for that, for the on-site photos and video. And now the creativity, this is why I was laughing. Uh, so <laughs> from uh, Here Comes the Sun to the Scooby Gang, to all smiles, beautiful smiles, by the way. And then uh, team good vibes with Sesame Street, because I I love it. So um, go for that and Sesame Street and Muppets and things. And I love flowers too and Scooby-Doo. Okay, just, I love all of it. So just please just continue on. Okay, we've got Spider-Man, Spider-Verse. Okay, that's good. And a tie-in to the recent movie, please go see it. Uh, we have the dynamic duo with Broadway covers, and then we have uh, just a collage here of, of people looking at giraffes and, and looking at their cameras and just being generally beautiful and adventurous, and then also uh, photos of, uh, I think, what is it, uh, things. Okay, so we have some more showing shirts. These are I have no idea. It's just just beautiful people and just beautiful faces, people doing beautiful things and being beautiful teams. So thank you for that. And now we're going to go into the breakout session recap with uh, Mac. So take it away. Thank you, Erica. Um, we do a lot of hard work over the, the weekend here at 48 and 48, but we also try and break that up with some of these breakout sessions. So we had three breakout sessions this weekend. I want to thank everyone who attended them. Um, the online scavenger hunt. Thank you, Sarah, for moderating the uh, famous movie quotes. Thank you, D, for moderating. And finally, the trivia and album cover. Thank you, Alita and Charity, for moderating. And with that, we get into what you're really all here for, let's be honest. Um, the winning sites, uh, the judges, we had some great judges. Um, it was a pleasure working with all of them. <laughs> and we, we had a very hard decision to make, or I didn't, I just got to watch them struggle. But um, if you can go to the next one, we can see the judges. These are all of our judges. Thank you so much to all of them for coming out. Their job is not easy. Reviewing all of the sites built in a whole weekend and judging them is, is not an easy task. Um, but we have Sarah from Moto Moto here with us. I'm gonna hand it off to her and she's going to get into the honorable mentions first and then the third, second and first place. Yeah, thank you, Mac. Um, I think what's really interesting about judging websites, um, especially in kind of a rapid judging that we did, um, you know, the average time on websites, I think the most recent timing is about 52 seconds um, before people will jump. And that's roughly about how much time we had on each of your websites today, um, knowing that we had 40 to judge in just one hour. Um, but that's very real. Um, when you consider, you know, what your users are going to be experiencing on these sites, you know, I want a lot of the judging was about, you know, how quick do I get the information that I want? Um, how am I supposed to feel 
when I get to your website? And, you know, what am I supposed to do when I get there? What is my most desired CTA? And um, a lot of our judgment in today's uh, judging session was focused on those three goals, you know, and it's amazing what a first impression can do for the total time on a page. So we definitely want to shout out, uh, we have two honorable mentions before we jump in uh, to the finalists, but uh, obviously on screen, as you can see, one of our honorable mentions is for a real change. Um, this was solely designed by Aaron Hewitt, which is amazing. So major shout out <laughs> that this was a party of one to make this entire website, um, which we found out later. Uh, what's great about uh, the For A Real Change website, um, some notes that we just had. Um, it was a, a really nice, clean update to the original website. It had very concise, skimmable content, which was great. Just if you're just skimming the page, like what is this page about? It was very easy to understand. Very clear CTAs that are very prominent in this header. I very quickly understood what they wanted me to do or what Aaron wanted me to do. Um, and just very nicely organized content in the nav, um, considering how much content was on this site to work with, it was very well organized in the nav, so major shout out to that. Um, and the About Us page, you know, it just made me want to read and keep scrolling more. It was just very interesting how the content was broken out. And again, just major shout out that this was done by a party of one. So great job. Um, definitely an honorable mention today. Um, our second honorable mention is the Coweta County NAACP website, um, also built by Daniel Chambers. Um, so just again, very, um, once we dive into this screenshot here, uh, it was a very clear mission very quickly. Um, the imagery really matched the mission. It felt very actionable. It made me want to take action, which is the goal of this website. The, um, the colors as, as well, they just felt very energetic. Everything about this page felt actionable. Uh, which was the goal, um, uh, something that we called out um, in our judging was the timeline feature on this homepage, which you can't see here, but on the homepage, there was a timeline feature where you could really get some history of the organization, which we captured um, as a note, just something very interesting and unique, and it just made you want to read more, um, which is a great thing, more time on a site. Uh, again, very clear, join us CTA in the header and in our main nav. And just the imagery that was chosen here just really matches that actionable mission. So great job, major honorable mention here. Without further ado, our third place, uh, we have Magenta Moms. I think collectively across the board, we all were amazed at the before and after transformation of this website. Uh, what the site was working with before and what it has become was absolutely phenomenal. Um, some notes that we captured, you know, the imagery again, th the imagery was captivating. It felt true to the mission, which is the most important thing. Um, a very prominent donate CTA in the header we uh, really captured is, you know, that's what, what am I supposed to do? Oh, here's my most important thing. Um, and then it had a very intuitive user flow with regards to kind of um, sharing information little by little, and it made you want to keep reading more. But just a major well done to the Magenta Moms team. Um, it was just a really beautiful transformation. So without further ado, end suspense music. Um, our second place uh, winner is the team that created the Honey Bee Housing website redesign. Um, again, it was just a really beautiful um, imagery selection. It really truly matched the mission of the nonprofit um, throughout the site, which, you know, it's really just captivating the way that you can do that just through some imagery. Um, the design elements used throughout the site uh, really helped strengthen the brand. There were some honeycomb patterns and imagery used throughout, which really just kind of added to the brand itself instead of just having white backgrounds everywhere. And it was just a nice touch. Um, there was a very quick understanding of the nonprofit's mission before I even had to scroll, uh, which is huge. I don't, you know, most people don't wanna read on a website. Um, so just having a quick grab understanding and really having an image that um, adds to that is huge. And we also noted the clear CTA in the header, um, either learn more or donate. These are your clear next steps. So great job, Honey Bee, housing um, the team that created this. It's just a really nice brand um, evolution. Last but not least, um, I'm doing drum rolls. Uh, first place, we have our No More website. This was an amazing, before and after transformation. Um, anybody that got to see 
the um, current site as is versus what it has become was just um, incredible. This was uh, without a doubt, everybody's number one pick on the team. Um, the imagery selected was incredible. It's very captivating. Uh, it almost forces you to want to keep learning more. And like I mentioned in my intro, you know, it's amazing what a first impression can do to make people want to learn more or know more as it were. Um, so just great job here with the first impression landing. Uh, the imagery is captivating. The logo, I don't know if that was given to you guys or if you created it. Um, great job there. Just, it's really beautiful. Um, and then uh, just a very clear CTA, get involved now right there in the header and just brief messaging throughout the site. It's not just a super content heavy website. It was very pared down um, to get to the most important parts, which I think was uh, made the site really successful. So those are just our top five. Um, it was incredible to see how much work has been put in this weekend. There is without a doubt going to be some major ripples that happen in each of these nonprofits because of the work that you guys have all done. Um, so I just wanna really shout out that um, because yes, we're looking at the top five, but it is just for fun. Everybody has done incredible this weekend. So thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Um, all right, guys. So we are on record time here, wrapping up on closing. So I always want to say welcome to the 4848 family. If this is the first time you've volunteered for us, welcome. If it's your returner, then it's like a family reunion. Thank you for being here. And thank you for all the time that you put in this weekend to provide these amazing websites for nonprofits. Like Sarah said, there's definitely a ripple effect. Um, we try our best to measure it, but, you know, when we get those messages from nonprofits to say, we got this because of you, that makes all of us feel fantastic. And I will definitely pass these messages along. I want to give a huge shout out to the leadership this weekend, working um, through so many bumps, potholes, <laughs> maybe roller coasters. I don't know what we want to call it, but the ups, the downs, the around the corners. Um, so, so appreciate your time, your effort, your support for our organization for 4848. Also the support of our staff, which is Aaron and Mac. Thank you so much for coming through in big ways here. It is just amazing to see what you guys um, continue to bring to the table to make our events better and better. So now that this is over, you're probably thinking, what's next, right? global event. Yay, just what you were waiting for. You want to know when it is, when it is, how it's going to happen. So here we go. Quick, quick note that it is October 6th through 8th at Cox Enterprises. They will be our host for this weekend um, for the global event. And it will be all weekend as opposed to this events, particularly where we just had opening at Hot House, which we so appreciated. The difference at, heart, at um, the Cox Enterprises and the global event will be that we will be on site all three days and um, registration opens on um, July the 10th, which means our planning committee will kick off on July the 14th. If you are interested, please reach out to us um, and go find out more information at the global virtual page on our website. So with that, um, I think say a big thank you to everybody. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend. I know there's not a whole lot left, but at least hopefully you can get a great, good dinner with your families, um, relax some. Please reach out to us if we can ever be of service to you and know that we appreciate what you have done for us, for, for the 4848 family. And um, I hope that you took away some great information from our DEI panels. If you weren't able to watch them, live, please come back and see the recorded messages because there's such great information to take back as we amplify diversity, equity, and inclusion, um, and justice for everybody. So with that, we say goodbye and thank you again from the bottom of our hearts for what you have given us this weekend. <laughs>